Hey, what's up, fam? Kometsu no Yaiba, 128. It's... I like where this is all going. I was talking about in, I think, the previous video that... They have the potential, really, to go for a long time because they've... They kind of expanded out on a lot of areas recently. One of the things that kind of restricted the series was that the, the demons couldn't go into the light or they die. Oh, the sunlight, at least. Or they die. But now there's a method that they uh, that they can, and that's with uh, Nezuko, who is this demon who can. Well, she she's immune to the sunlight. It, it only burned her for like a second, and then she, now she's perfectly fine. So this could make it so that the the like the demon encounter, especially with the upper moons, could happen way more frequently. It could uh, maybe create more upper moons somehow. Uh, or the fact that uh, they've acknowledged that other places in the world exist. It's not just kind of confined to Japan. It's not like, um, it's not kind of like Naruto where it's really just no matter where you apparently are in the world, everything's like Japanese-y. But I know they there's been like people have spoken French in this. Uh, they, they have like all these kind of like smaller bits that uh, open our own possibilities and could potentially get other other demons to show up, other, other other kind of exorcists from other countries and and whatnot. And I think it'd be I think it'd be a cool way to branch out from everything going on right now and to, to give more of a uh, more of a large worldwide feel to uh, the thing that's going. That's one of the things that it kind of bothered me about Bleach is you only saw what was happening in Japan. You don't see any of the other countries, and it wasn't required, but it was it was one of those things you'd think that they touch up on, you know. But anyway. I like getting back to uh, Nezuko, kind of talking and then just being a being this super nice girl, but at the same time having these like cracking eyes and big, big scary teeth, like all these fangs, and she still she just seems like a, such a happy girl. And uh, fucking Zenitsu's just like trying to trying to talk to her, trying to get her to uh, to marry him. He's like freaking out, but best guy's gonna best guy because. And when Nezuko says, uh, welcome back and calls him, uh, Inosuke, I don't think she knows, uh, she can really differentiate by, by name, I think she just says it, cause fucking Inosuke came back and, uh, spent two days just trying to get her to get his name right, which, again, this is, a, that's why he's my favorite character in the series, he's just ridiculous in, um, in really odd ways, but really fun ways, dude's great, so, if, like I said, if, if, if you haven't read the series yet, I'll tell you, you'll, you'll like that dude, and if you, you know, and if you are, uh, if you do read the series, tell me if you like it. No scare, and I, I think he's hilarious. Pig assault, man. But kind of cut to this uh, emergency meeting of the of the pillars, and the pillars are kind of discussing of uh, they they think that the uh, they think that Muzan is going to now try and go for Nezuko and figure out how he can, as he said, conquer the sun, become immune to the sunlight, so he and all the other demons could uh, operate during the day as well. Which is a good, which is a good plot point to acknowledge, and for not them to stay ignorant. Of it, but they seem pretty, um, pretty much able to say, yeah, this seems likely. We should we should be careful about everything. We know what's going on, as well as they, they bring up the, the markings, the like the those markings that, uh, Tanjiro had, and how all of the, uh, the swordsmen of the first breath that almost killed Muzan uh, all had it. So it seems definitely like some form of strength increase or some form of kind of like power up thing, but the and then the way they get it is you have to, from what they know, the only thing they do know is it spreads, and then the person they have that has it that you know they could get it to spread to other people is Tanjiro because he's a descendant, believed of of the first breath, or it's because he you know was around that guy who was that was friends with his father maybe that he himself is kind of like latched on to latched on to Tanjiro maybe it's spreading from and further from that or maybe I don't know maybe his mom is actually descending in the first breath I don't know we'll find out but I liked uh I like seeing him trying to describe it and looking like an idiot but then <laughs> oh god oh, I forgot her name the 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 love pillar chick oh sorry I feel bad that I forgot her name but I like her she's unfortunately because I I, I just caught up. I'm not used to everybody's names yet, but she she has like that same like she was like describing it with sounds and stuff, which is pretty funny. 
but then now they're like, yeah, let's uh, let's figure out how to, to get this mark in a real spread out. We need this. So I, I like that the chapter had uh, the pillars being very aware of things that are going on. They're able to make pretty accurate uh, assumptions and guesses to the situation, which was cool. So tell me what you think about the chapter. Uh, it's a, it felt pretty short since a lot of it was like a lot of it was kind of of them analyzing recent things. It's like uh, there are parts that felt like if it was in the anime, it'd be like a recap chapter, but it was more like it was done in a lot smarter way to where it didn't feel like. Yeah, we're filling time. It was like, no, we're, we're going over recent events that were important and they're going to affect a lot of things. So yeah, tell me what you think about that in the comments. Uh, if you like my content, check out my other videos. I do mostly uh, manga stuff, fairy tale, Eden Zero, and Black Clover. Soon to be the Radiant Anime, which is the first official French manga. It's become a Japanese anime. And uh, I hope I can get you to subscribe to my channel. If you are subscribed already, thank you very much. If you aren't, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening. Bye.